welcome to my channel being now thank you so so much for being with me here today today I'm doing a collective reading for Aries please check your moon rising and Venus signs if this reading doesn't resonate and always head over to the videos tab because there might be another reading that's more applicable for your individual circumstance now I've got um, the daily guidance here let's see what is the message for Aries oh wow send love to your muscles so this is number 104 you may be carrying tension in your body right now without realizing it we angels point this out so that you can take positive steps towards relaxing take a moment to scan your body for any areas of strain ask your muscles what they're trying to tell you you likely hear feel or think a response take another few seconds to have a conversation with them about why they're tense next inhale deeply and while exhaling imagine sending breath to your body feel compassionate understanding for your muscles and thank them for the excellent job they're doing not only do they support you but they also communicate honest feelings to you your body tends to be tense or achy when it's ignored so take time today to listen and appreciate it just as people relax when they feel they are understood so will your muscles so your message i talk to my muscles with respect and understanding instead of demanding they that they relax I take the time to see their point of view I thank them for doing their job and send love to all of them wow this is so powerful I feel like I need to do that I feel like I need a massage so if you are OG welcome welcome to my channel again so wonderful to have you here thank you for all your likes, subscribes donations and support to me and my channel thank you for booking um, healing sessions if that's what you have been doing and for everyone registering for the full moon in Aries ritual that I'm running on the 29th thank you thank you thank you keep them coming if you are interested the information is in the communities tab or you can always comment below now I do want to pull an angel number so the angel number that I've got is 861 instead of worrying about money pray worry attracts problem while prayer attracts solutions it's interesting I was guided to um, work with this book today number 195 the changes that you are making are well timed you are clear about what you will and won't accept in life these changes put you on the path of divine mission and will result in you helping others to do the same so powerful very random um, I was starting this reading and I was led to get up the angel numbers book was calling me from the shelf and it oh, I knew it so it came up in the meditation all these cards want to pop out we'll start with that that's a lot of cards see what's coming up for my beautiful Aries want to make sure that you I feel like I'm not done <laughs> isn't it interesting I start your reading and then I'm like no I don't think I'm done yet okay so four of cups Aries so what is going on spirit is sending you a cup from behind why are you not seeing it or what is it that's stopping you from seeing that cup that spirit wants to hand to you is probably what I want to say that's what's coming through straight so I'm also channeling any messages coming through so if I speak quickly or if I stop that's why if you knew I just need to make sure that you know that seek out other possibilities look for the magic in life be aware of your own emotions so there's something about your emotions areas that's happening so some of you might be feeling quite emotional at this moment in time remember we just went through the new moon and um, it can be because you know like all these there have been so many retrogrades we just came out of mercury retrograde we got out of venus retrograde there's this shadow period so there might you know it's very understandable and normal to have that four of cups feeling but this is interesting just maybe that's why i was led to start off with the angel message just like the way you send a message love to your muscles maybe there is somewhere else that you need to send love to and either to release it surrender it or um, look at it from a different perspective because Aries you know whilst we are a fire sign we are also very deep and sensitive sensitive is the right word for Aries because we are often misunderstood being a fire sign that is what makes us sensitive and also because we are the first sign you know depending on where your Aries placement is but as an Aries you know we are already million miles an hour ahead of others so it takes people time to catch up but 
often because of this misunderstanding it can make us even more vulnerable and um, emotional so wow this was this is getting way deeper than I was expecting so take what resonates and leave the rest if you knew I do Aries readings daily there's also one card pulls in the short section of my channel and there's always something fun and fabulous happening and thank you thank you thank you and welcome to the family it's an epic family to be part of three of um, pentacles so some of you here are really working on your business career finances on building something I'm also picking up that somebody is studying somebody is studying I feel like this is an up uh, even though this is a the tree of pentacles i'm picking up apprentice so maybe you are planning on getting some you know being an apprentice for something or maybe you're learning a new skill this is very random and very specific so it may or may not resonate but this is saying do what you love a time for great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors working with others in a cooperative manner i do feel like if you can see in that box there is an angel so I feel like at this moment in time also you might be coming across people or contacts that have the skill sets that you're looking for. So it might be a great time to collaborate with them, work with them, involve them in your projects, whatever it is that you're doing Aries, because I think it's going to really help you at this moment in time. And um, I also see education. Now this is... Um, this is coming strongly with the apprentice card. So maybe, you know, you're wanting to build your skills. Say, for example, um, you are starting an Etsy store. You never did that before. So you are learning, you're navigating. You know, you might look up videos on YouTube or enroll in a course or a workshop. But every day you, you know, spend more time on that platform to learn how everything works and, you know, making it work. I know all these things because I knew nothing about YouTube. And here we are, I have a channel and I have my daily show i should say which really feels like a daily show so the world card wow so the world card coming up this is a major completion of cycle okay now this is what i'm going to say i feel like with this four of cups you're going to be coming out of this four of cups situation so a lot of you that have been feeling this four of cups vibe that where when am i going to get cups that are not on the floor and those that are upright right that's what you want and with the world card, that's what is, this is saying to me. This is saying that you are completing a major, major cycle. People often say to me in comments, things haven't shifted, haven't changed. But what are you doing to change things, right? There's one thing that energy around you is of change. It's of supporting you and your growth and development. But if you're never going to apply for that job, go on that date, make an effort of any sort, you're not going to move out of these situations. You know, because sometimes I see these comments and I'm like, you know, these are collective readings. It depends on your timeline. And I'm, I'm saying this with a lot of love and being honest upfront as an Aries, because sometimes we need to hear the truth. If we if we are, make, you know, making excuses for our lack of this four of cups vibe that oh nothing is happening for me, nothing is moving for me. Why? Why is it always me? That's not really moving you forward to the completion you know maybe there is a lesson maybe there's a message maybe you know there are other opportunities that spirit is trying to get to you but until and unless you turn around shift your perspective do some inner work do some healing you can't see them so one thing i would say for example this is what came through i need to share it say for example if you lost your job and because you lost your job now you're starting a business you might be thinking, oh, I lost my job. How will I get my income? How will I support myself? How will I support my family? But all in the meantime, you're wanting to manifest your dream business or do something that makes your heart and soul sing. And Spirit's like, yeah, you. we knew that you're not going to do anything until you're in this job because you don't have time or you, know, you don't have energy. So we had to take that job away from you. So now you can focus on your passions, your gifts, your creativity, your purpose you know so that is just an example same thing in love you know if you were in a relationship but you were not 100 percent happy and yet it was convenient because you knew the person you know you knew the person they knew you you spent a bit of you spent quite a bit of time you did a lot for the relationship but if you still felt disconnected at some level you were not truly happy it would just became something that you knew and became part of your life because that's what happens people come into our life and they become part of us and we don't we don't want to shake the tree so it's better to just keep staying there and the world card is saying that until and unless something changes shifts you can't be available for that true soulmate connection that true love you know if that's what you're looking for so i'm just using these different sharing these different examples and situations that spirit is 
leading me to share it with you the sun card i mean look at this we've got the world card and the, oh. <laughs> gotta have a laugh right you've got the world card and then the sun card right next to it i mean two major arcanas this is nothing small so whether it's in career business finances or in relationship or love context relationship does you know you don't have to be in love to have relationships you have relationship with your neighbors your family your friends you know colleagues so with this is leo energy the sun card so i love this because the world card is saying a very happy ending coming full circle like are we kidding spiritual growth and insight so see i was talking about these lessons maybe you needed to grow as an individual you needed to have gone through certain things to make you who you are so you can welcome the new love the new job the new connection the new business the creative venture you know because that brings every time you go through something difficult you come out stronger wiser more equipped to deal with things now the sun card is saying life is wonderful thrive through power of positive thinking and inspiring success this is all about success look at how bright that is it looks like a unicorn it is it's a flying unicorn like angels flying unicorn right i love this sun card and the sun is shining on your back so you might feel that warmth or you might feel like you are taken care of you might feel like you're protected claim it in comments if that's what you want you know that you feel protected you feel you looked after you feel blessed this is what i feel like you can feel that somebody out there is looking out for you which is spirit angels god source whatever that you believe in that higher force that higher power that's leading you through this entire transition so you can have this completion to welcome what is coming towards you and wants to come towards you i i am picking this could be work business career or you know because with the cups and the pentacles it could be anything you let me know in comments which it is which it is for you but i'm loving this new the sun card for me is all about birthing it's about beginning and i also feel like maybe somebody here has heard news on pregnancy could be you or could be someone that you know as well um i know certainly with spring we're in spring seeing more sunshine i'm feeling that warmth i'm feeling happy i'm feeling joyful it's like a new me and it's a seasonal change but still it makes such a big difference right so what is it that you are birthing aries is it a creative venture is it a job is it what is it for you four of pentacles here in your final card now we've got two pentacles card here i really feel like and you've got two fours so i feel like aries this reading is a lot about you building your foundation with the fours appearing in your reading i will say that somebody here is working on it's like going back to basics building a solid foundation why do i say that can you see that house at the back i feel like i have to use the house analogy because that's what spirit is leading me to it's like you're building a house you've had to clear the land you've had to go and get the permits you've had to go and get the architectural drawings the design you have to get the surveyors to make sure that the land is the land that's yours then you have to make sure that you fence it you know what's yours and what's not yours ensuring that there's no easements or anything like that this is what i feel like you it's like a major it's it's you know when you buy an old property with the view to pull it down gut it completely and start afresh brand new that's what i feel i feel like this is pretty major for some of you now for some uh, some of the others of you if life is coasting along clearly this is not your reading you might be having other small completions maybe you you know you get a you get promoted to the next level in your in in your field you know if you're in a in a industry where you finish certificate one you go to certificate two type thing you know level one level two level three i'm picking that up so maybe it's not major for you but for others of you this is about but in that same way you are happy because that's like you progressing to the next level and you are building on your foundations brick, brick by brick bit by bit you know you're elevating so it not everyone might be going through these major shifts but these are major arcanas so i have to say that but for some of you this is like clean slate starting again you're putting your roots down and you're like you know what what are my roots standing for what do i what do i what what do, what do i what am i okay with and what am i not okay with I'm trying to get my words right right 
So, you know, this is where it's like major reflection. It's that muscle testing thing that we did earlier and those ain't the, those numbers that came up earlier, right? So today it's really interesting that I was guided to work with the Archangel Michael deck. So I'm going to be pulling some Oracle cards from the Archangel Michael deck. Tell me in comments, what are you birthing? What are you creating? Is it a new job, new business? Is it a creative venture? Where are you? Because we've got two pentacles. There's a major completion. What cycle have you completed? What is the cycle that you've completed? And tap that like comment, uh, like comment, T tap that like button if you haven't already, because hey, for me to sh share these messages daily, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, they mean everything to me. For me to continue to do this daily, tap that like button. That tells me you want me to keep doing this daily. Commenting below tells me you want me to keep these things, keep doing these things daily. Subscribe. Subscribe so you get the notifications. A lot of you miss out on a lot of things and then tell me afterwards. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Decide to be happy now. Very powerful message. This is like the sun card, you know. Sun card is joy, happiness, rebirth. It's getting everything you wanted, feeling so warm, joyful, open, openness. So this card says, thank you for letting me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I'm now willing to see all of my all of the goodness in my life. Are you kidding me? I literally said the word openness and it's here. Okay, we have two more cards. Let go of fear now. Now this is where, if you haven't registered for that um, Aries full moon ceremony, one of the things you can release is fear. If you have fear, doubt, things that are holding you back, those things, that's, that ritual is going to be highly potent. Go to the communities tab or comment below. This is why I say hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you want to know about all these things, that's how you get to get the information. And I'm saying this with love because I feel so bad when after the fact, after the cutoff, people say to me, oh, can I register? I would love, you know, because I do run them for the collective, these events, and I want as many people to benefit from them. So, you know, but also it's time. Those events happen at specific dates and times. So if you want them, please tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Now in that full moon um, ritual, one of the things we will be releasing, letting go. So if there are emotions like, you know, doubt, fear, any past lovers, um, scarcity mindset, all that can, you can release it. That's how that ritual is going to work. So here it says, Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. I will say amen and hallelujah to that. And your final card. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Give me a yes in comments. Give me some drum rolls. Give me some party emoji. Let's have some fun because you are going to love this final card. It is you and your loved ones are safe. How beautiful. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel safe and secure at, and at peace and fill me with faith so I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Like happy and healthful has been coming up strongly with your first message we started off with and also with the sun card decide to be happy now and you and your loved ones are safe so if you claim it in comments what are you are you letting go of fear are you claiming happiness are you claiming you and your loved ones are safe are you claiming that i am happy now or are you claiming i'm done with these old cycles let me know in comments and hit that like button if you haven't already because your likes do something on youtube and i'm so very grateful for each and every one of you showing up daily you showing up daily helps me to show up daily there is really it's really really that simple for me so thank you from the bottom of my heart i appreciate you so 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 very much and i will see you next time